Hey lovelies! So you guys have been asking for more and more meal prep inspiration. And as always, your wish is my command. Today it is all about three kid-friendly meal prep ideas that are great for the young and the young at heart. Starting with this tasty pasta salad my niece and nephew absolutely love. In our house, we call it confetti pasta. And it all starts, not surprisingly, with some pasta. I'm using farfalle or bow tie pasta in this recipe, but any pasta will do. You wanna cook it and then run it under some cold water until it is cooled completely. Next, for some color, crunch, and nutrition, I'm adding some veggies to this. So I've got some finely chopped red bell pepper, as well as some frozen peas and carrots headed into my pasta dish. The truth is you could really add any kinds of veggies to this, whatever your kids will eat. Some corn, some broccoli, some chopped green beans would be really good in this salad. The idea is just to make it look like confetti. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of protein with some chopped ham. You could do this with turkey or chicken if you want to, or just leave it vegetarian. And then the real secret to making this salad sing is a super simple secret ingredient. It is just some store-bought Italian dressing. We'll toss that until everything is well coated and then we can load it into each of our meal prep dishes. I like serving this pasta salad up with some blueberries and some orange slices, but whatever sides you like will do. Now that is a lunch that I would have gotten excited about as a kid. In fact, that's a lunch that I would still get excited about as an adult. Our next kid's meal prep idea is actually a little breakfast for lunch action. We're gonna start by whipping up a nice big batch of protein pancakes. These are made with just three ingredients. They're super simple, but you can make a big batch all at once and then enjoy them through the week. To get started, we're going to blend up some oats and turn it into oat flour. Technically, you can buy oat flour now, but trust me, this is just as simple. And then we will get in our other two ingredients. The riper your banana in this recipe, the sweeter these pancakes are going to be. So if you want them nice and sweet for the kids, go ahead and add really ripe bananas. If you want them a little less sweet though, you can definitely add less ripe bananas. My bananas are pretty ripe. They smell really good. And the final ingredient are our eggs. I'm adding four eggs for two bananas. You can make a double, triple batch of this if you have more than one kid or if you wanna have some of these on hand for breakfast as well. They're super amazing to store in the fridge and just eat as you go. We'll just pulse them up and then we batter get this to the stove. Pancake batter get this to the stove. You guys get it. I will always recommend making your pancakes in a non-stick pan if you wanna make your life just that much easier. I like making these teeny tiny, easier for kids to eat. And you'll notice that with these pancakes, they tend to get a little darker on the exterior than a traditional pancake. Do not fret, that is just the sugar from the bananas caramelizing a little bit. Trust me, they are absolutely delicious. Instead of super sweet maple syrup for these pancakes, I like serving these up with a bit of vanilla flavored yogurt and just a touch of blueberry jam mixed in. It's still nice and dippable, but let's be honest, a little healthier than regular maple syrup. And of course, speaking of healthy, I also like to serve these up with a good helping of fresh fruit. And there you go, lunch for the week. I call that a piece of Finally, lovelies, for a great no-cook option, might I suggest these really yummy turkey pinwheels. This is a great recipe for the kids to help out with. I am actually using these spinach tortillas just to try to sneak a little green into this recipe. You can use any tortilla that you want to. To get started, I am going to spread some cream cheese on my tortilla nice and liberally. I love cream cheese as a kid. I love cream cheese now because it's so nice and tangy and flavorful. And then we can pile on our turkey. Whatever kind of sandwich meat your kids love will do here. Then it's just a matter of rocking and rolling this up. You wanna keep it as tight as you possibly can. And then you can cut it into little sushi style pieces. I stack them up in my meal prep box and then serve them up with some fresh veggies like celery and cucumber. And then to finish this meal prep off, I'm serving it up with some mixed melon balls. I've got some watermelon, some honeydew, and some cantaloupe in my dish. And I think this constitutes a lunch most kids can get behind. 
I hope you'll give all three of these tasty meal prep ideas a try. If you do, as always, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, we have been sharing meal prep deliciousness all month long here on the channel, so if you haven't checked out our other meal prep videos, I really hope you will. There's lots of tasty ideas there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.